through 13th, 2020, and the work started January 14th. Uh, work was completed March 10th, 2020. Uh, the property owner's name was Norman Mangrum. Public Works had a labor cost of $2,765.17. Honors Nursery, $82.92. Uh, Salem Waste Landfill was $2,364.54. And legal fees of $750 for a total of $5,962.63. Any questions? Do we have anyone here who would like to speak to the call for this? Seeing no one, does any council members have any questions? No one has any questions. I'll bring this here until close and we'll move on to item number two. Rezoning property at Cumley Road and Casino Road R5 to R3. This is property out there, it borders Fairfax Bypass, it uh, borders Harmon Street, and borders the Hughley Road, and also part of the uh, Casita Road. And recommending zoning this from R5 to R3. Uh, R3 does, is a single family, both medium density uh, family housing, but R3 is a little bit smaller lot and does not allow for manufactured homes. R5 does. They had rezoned this up here around the school several years earlier from R5 to R3, and this is just kind of keeping in with that same area. And it also gets a little bit of Summer Hill Road and, and just right a few, a few lots right down here. But it's about 45 acres, best I remember, and the city owns this big block here. So it's very little property other than what the city owns is being rezoned. Any questions on any of that? Do we have any questions from anyone in the audience concerning these properties? Like Travis said, the city owns the big block of property on both sides of the road. Any council members have any questions? What size lots is R3? You can go down to as small as 9,000 square feet if you have uh, sewage. But without that, you're going to have to have about 15,000 for the health department. Yeah. Any other questions? This time, I'll bring this hearing to a close. I'm going to find approval means. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passing unanimously. Item number six, Office of Department Head of Communications. Chief, what you got for us tonight? We, uh, we have one open position, and uh, two weekends ago, we had 12 applicants that said they would come for the physical testing. We had five of those 12 show up. Uh, all five passed the physical testing. Um, they were invited to come back for a written test this past week, and three showed up. So, not sure what happened to the other two. But, uh, so we're, we're, we're narrowed it down to three at this point, so we're working through uh, background investigations and some more testing and stuff to determine who we're going to hire. Uh, we got four new officers in the police academy now. We've got one in Montgomery and we had three leave today to go to Northeast Alabama, which is up at Fort McClellan, just above Aniston. So we've got four in the academy. So once once they all get back and uh, and we get a, this new one hired, we'll be back at the full force. Um, How many weeks will school be? 14. It, uh, back when I started, it was six, and then it's up to 14. I guess we were smarter back then, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, that's all I got, I didn't mean that. They're much smarter than we ever were. Okay. Okay. 
and just to update our previous two weekends, we had a recycling event. Um, I think the first day we done it, uh, on the Friday we were able to get five pallets of electronic recyclables. Uh, the second day we had to reschedule due to weather, so we done it this Saturday before this last, and was able to get about eight pallets of electronic recyclables. Uh, the county actually done one also that week prior to us, and uh, we consolidated all in one tractor trailer load, sent it up to Compu Point USA up in Lawrenceville, Georgia. So we was able to have a full tractor trailer load, and uh, Jeremy Collie, Jason Collie, was able to take that up there for us. As far as our uh, our tree bid goes, contractor states he'll be through with our trees in the next two weeks. We've got about six left on the bid. We've got about three or four added. I believe code enforcement has added one. Um, he's going to plan on getting one on Cone Street in Fairfax tomorrow, and one around 29 tomorrow. Uh, he still likes one on Morgan Street, uh, mostly in the Fairfax area. Uh, but he is working on those, and hopefully he will be through with the tree bid in the next two weeks. That's all I have. Yes. Just had a couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, Today's two weeks away from our inoperable vehicle ordinance, and I want to give everybody one last reminder. Uh, this has been it'll be 90 days when we start this, and uh, that starts on May 10th. And once we tag a vehicle, you'll have five days to remove it. If not, it'll be subject to being towed. Uh, so, like I said, I just want to give everybody that update. And why don't you be sure to print that if you don't mind? And on a good note, I got something from the state data center saying that uh, Alabama's not going to lose any representatives. Right. So uh, I think there was about seven states, mostly in the Northeast and California, are losing one. And uh, did you see anything on our population? Yes, our population is five million twenty-four thousand two hundred seventy-nine, which was an increase. Not the city. You see Didn't see anything on the city yet. Yeah. This is just preliminary data too. But yeah, with a 5.1% 5, 5 increase from 10 years ago. Yeah. And that's all I've got. Yeah, thank you. Lord, I say you the last. Thank you. The best. Always the best for last. Um, our farmer's market starts May 7th. Right now, I know that we will have strawberries and we will have jams, jellies, fresh eggs. A lot of the crops are not quite in yet. One of the farmers I called today got hit by the tornado a couple of weeks ago and he's had to replant all of his crops. So, but we will have a couple of vendors there for sure. So y'all come out and support our farmers. And then we have a, another baseball tournament the weekend of May the 8th and this one should make. It's youth and it should make. And then it is April, almost May, spent time for swimming. Our swim lessons are ongoing. They're a month long swim aquatic program so if you want to sign up your kids for May now is the time to do it and that's all I have okay thank you oh, yeah, I got one more thing. Yeah. the uh, hike bike run to Valley Haven is going to be this Saturday morning May 1st uh, they'll be starting at 8 o'clock and uh, most of the activities will be off the road this year behind the Valley Haven down to the Lakeview camp and there will be uh, walkers coming from West Point, the Capital City Bank, all the way down 29, Bob James, Fairfax Bypass, the Valley Haven. We'll be escorting them. And there'll be some uh, bicyclists leaving Valley Haven and going down Judge Brown Road and back. So just wanted to ask everybody to be cautious Saturday morning between 8 a.m. and about 11 a.m. and, and uh, come out and join us for the hike bike run. Okay, thank you. Council member communications, this is from the district one. No report, Mr. Mayor. District two. No report. District three. As the chief just mentioned, hike bike run is Saturday. <coughs> the school is in desperate need this year. I mean, they uh, didn't have hike bike last year. The bad day got canceled this year because of weather. And uh, that typically brings in about 20,000, I think, a year. And so uh, if, uh, if, if you see me, please see somebody that's uh, going to walk and Pledge and give the better haven. Uh, we don't want to lose this great institution we have here locally. So, 
Is it all? What time is that opening ceremony for the high light? Mayor, I'd like to thank Patrick for some work he and his crew did in my district. Uh, looks real good, and uh, the citizens in the area certainly will appreciate it. And I'd just like to say thank you very much. That's all I have. Well, one thing, I had a few people in my district that called and told me to be sure to tell Patrick they appreciated him fixing that road on Woodland. Is that what it was? Woodland, you yeah. Woodland had a pothole over there, and they were a little concerned about it, but Patrick got it completed, and I'll pass that on to him, and let him know that I brought it up for you. Thank you. Any hey, no citizen communications? Mayor's communications? I mean, one, I called for a public hearing on May 10th, 2021, to confirm the calls from two properties to nuisance violation, 7612 School Street, 2006 29 Cool Board. Item number 10, account audits, Ms. Kelly. Previous balances were six million eighty-three thousand five hundred twenty-two dollars and forty cents. Total deposits were nine hundred and seventy-six thousand nine hundred and thirty-two dollars and two cents. Total expenditures were two hundred and seventy-five thousand three hundred and forty dollars and seventeen cents. For total ending on hand balances of six million seven hundred and eighty five thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars and twenty five cents. Do we have a motion to approve? Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Pass your amendment. We did get our state capital improvement money. Uh, the last couple of weeks, it was right at $100,000, and normally it runs about $90,000. We received it around April 15th, 16th. This time, the consent agenda, item number one is confirmed cost of abatement, 2205, 32nd place, 2021 048 r Item number two, approved dispatch service agreement, 911 services, 2021-049R. And item number three, public works uniform agreement, 2021-050R. If you remember, we talked about the dispatch service agreement at the work session. Item number two is the public works agreement, which is under state, kind of state, under one of the bid associations. And it's not going up, it's going to be pretty much the same next year. Does any council member want to take any item off of the Sunday? Seeing no one, do we have a motion to approve? I make the motion we adopt all items in the consent agenda. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Pass your names. Item number 12. There's nothing on the regular agenda. Item number 12 is ordinances, rezoning property at Cuba Road and Casilla Road, R5 to R3. This is be the first reading. We have ordained by the City Council of Bell, Alabama that ordinance 9907, as previously amended, is hereby further amended as follows. Section 1, rezoning. The property located at Cuba Road, Casilla Road, is hereby rezoned from R5 medium density residential district to R3 medium de density residential district classification. Section two, effective date. This ordinance will take effect from the date of its passage by the City Council of Valley, Alabama and its publication or posted as required by law. Adopted and approved this the 26th day of April, 2021. You may want to suspend the rules and adopt this in its first reading since there was nobody that appeared at the Planning Commission to object and the yeah. city owns the majority of this particular real estate. I'd like to hear a second reading on this. That's fine. No problem. No further orders. Okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to move into the next session. Yes, sir. The city council, I certify that the purpose for which this is being called uh, complies with the outbound public meeting call. Do we have a motion? Would you say, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Do we have a second? Second. Any opposed? Pass unanimously. Item number 13, 
It's good to go. <laughs> Do we have a second? Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. We're going to have to 